Hey y'all, I'm at work and I want to give this word before they come up for dinner. Um, I'm coming out of Matthew 5 and God is speaking on, um, you know, us being blessed. So Matthew 5 is blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful for they shall show mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. I said, okay, 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 okay. So I start looking up blessed. And from what I heard from Joyce Myers this morning, blessed are the poor in spirit, the humble who rate themselves insignificant for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. We are very humble. We don't consider ourselves high and mighty and prideful because we know that everything we have, everything we do, the reason why we move, the reason why we sing, the reason why we can do the things that we do is only because God graces us and allows us the opportunity. I said, okay, so blessed in the amplified version means to be happy, to be envied. So you mean to tell me people are envying you because you're blessed? When you are blessed, you are going to be envy and spiritually prosperous with life, joy and satisfaction in God's favor and salvation, regardless of their outward conditions. This is what it means to be blessed. No matter what I'm going through, no matter the different storms that I face, no matter how many times I've fallen down on my face, no matter how many times that people have turned their backs on me, no matter how many times people stomp on me and use me and um, for my love, they repay me with evil. I am blessed. I still choose to look at life with you know, spiritual eyes. I still choose to have joy. I still choose to praise God. I still choose to hold on to him until he sees me through no matter what I'm facing and no matter what I'm going through. And because I'm blessed, none of this, none of this has to do with material things. None of this blessings, none of these blessings have to do with financial prosperity, even though we know that, that it comes with it. But these people are mad about God's hand being on your life. These people are mad because you're spiritually prosperous. These people are mad because you live life with joy and satisfaction. These people are mad because you have God's favor and salvation over your life, regardless of what you go through, regardless of your conditions, regardless of where they see you fall or stump or stumble. Baby, the Lord picks us up, dusts us off and keeps on going because a righteous man falls seven times, baby, but he gets back up. This is underdog season. And to be blessed, it blew me away. You mean to tell me, you mean to tell me, Father God, that people are envious of me because I'm blessed? They don't see the hell that I go through. You don't watch my videos. You don't see what the hell I'm going through. You don't see at times I don't even want to be here myself. You ain't fully aware of the suicide, the three suicide attempts. You ain't aware of how hard it is for me to get through. But yet and still, every time God brings me out, I still give him glory. I still keep a smile on my face. I don't allow how people treat me to, to harden my heart and to treat everybody else the way that I've been treated. I continue to allow my light to shine on a lampstand so that the whole world can see. And if that's a problem with you, or if it's a problem with anybody else, you can get on because what God is doing is favorable in this moment. He is looking after the underdogs. He is looking after those who have been praying and warring and seeking God's face despite what they go through. The blessed is being prosperous in this moment. The blessed is coming out on top, baby. And if that leaves you feeling any kind of way, you might as well step aside 
and look from afar because with God's mighty right hand, he is going to deliver every single promise above and beyond all you can ever ask for and or think and imagine in your life. To God be the glory. We are still Psalms 24 for the rest of 24. And until the next time, y'all know I get to spin because it's good. Inspire. Be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you.